everyone, it's Leon Epp. Welcome back to my channel. A few days ago, I had the pleasure of hosting some lovely ladies and we built a super, super easy farmhouse style coffee mug holder. And so on this video, I thought I'd show you exactly how we did it. Once you have your lumber cut, and in a second here, I'll show you what sizes they're going to be in. Um, you're going to want to stain or paint the lumber in a dark tone. Because um, this particular one is going to have a farmhouse distressed look, when you distress the white paint, you want that dark tone to show through. So in my case, I decided to stain it, and then I'm going to let it fully dry. So you should have a one by five and a half by five and a half, which is technically a one by six cut into a square. A one by three and a half by three and a half, which is basically a one by four cut into a square. And a two by two by 14 inches. What you wanna do is you wanna connect corner to corner to make an X, that way you can find the middle section on each piece. And you're gonna do the same on the longer 14 inch, but only on one end. So once you have the center marked by the X's, then you're gonna drill a hole right in the center and just pick a drill bit that fits the size or the thickness of the screw that you're going to be using. Once you have drilled the hole on all three pieces, you're going to screw the screw in and until it pokes, just pokes through on the other side, and then you're gonna place, find the hole on the other piece and then screw it in and then do the same thing, just find the hole on the third longer piece and uh, just completely screw it in tightly. I quickly realized that I was screwing it in through the wrong end, so I had to remove it and then put it back in through the end of the um, larger side. That's gonna be the base of the mug holder. I am using a two and a half inch wood screw. Actually, I think this is a drywall screw, but it works fine because I needed it to go through all three pieces. You're gonna wanna let the wood glue dry. Now, I did not because I was very impatient. I removed some of the excess or a lot of the excess that was coming through but um, you do want to uh, let it dry. But anyways, in this case, I started painting with a chalk paint. This is Rust-Oleum in linen white, and I'll be doing two full coats on the whole thing. Once the paint was fully dried, I used a 220 grit sandpaper and fully sanded everything for a smooth finish. And then I distressed the edges and just randomly wherever I wanted it. And you can see that dark tone coming through beautifully. This uh, chalk paint is beautiful, I love it. But when you do distress, there's a lot of dust. So I just wanna make sure that it's clean so that I can seal it with polycrylic. I'm using the Minwax Polycrylic in the satin uh, finish and I'm doing just one coat on the whole thing. And then once the polycrylic was fully dry, then I added the hooks. I found these hooks 
at on Amazon and they came 20 in a pack. Very durable and they're black so I really like the quality of them. And I'm going to add two on the top on opposite ends and then two on the bottom on the opposite sides of the upper ones and you'll see that here in a minute. Now then I quickly realized when I put the mugs on that they were too scrunched up so I removed the upper uh, hooks and then I moved them up just a bit so that the mugs were a little bit separated and just looked a little bit more even. As a final touch, I did add some felt pads on the bottom so that it doesn't scratch up the countertop. And there you have it. What a simple, cute DIY project. It did not need a lot of supplies and I just think it's a cute thing to do for yourself or even as a gift. So I wanted to show you here a clip of what it looked like without the mugs and then show you one with the mugs. That is it for today. What a fun project to do with my friends. I hope it inspires you to make your own DIY projects. If you have not subscribed to my channel, you can do so right underneath this video. And I hope to see you soon. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, everyone.